My name is Lori Miller. We are at Bowler Elementary School. I am a third and fourth grade science and social studies and health teacher. I was drawn to this school to student teach in the first place because of the diversity here. When I went to elementary school and even high school in Milwaukee, I did not know there were Native people. I thought they were gone with the cowboys and Indians movies. I was never told about them. And you know, I hope that has changed since I was a student. But um, from the time I came to this school, I knew that, that Mohicans and Native Americans comprised about 50% of the people in this school district. So I was very interested in that. It was enlightening. Oh, there they are. They never left. And every time I would ask someone in the tribal community to help me with a project or you know, give me some assistance, background, resources, when I would ask for something, it would be received like they were getting a gift. I was always welcomed every single time. I mean, I've had elders come in and they tell the teaching stories and all the students, the Native and the non-Native students, really connect with that. It's this powerful teaching tool, but I notice they pay attention better and um, I think they remember better. They're each given a question that they may ask our elder visitor. They are responsible for notating their response. They use those notes and uh, they summarize and reflect on the visit of the elder. What did they learn? What was interesting? What stood out? I have one student then write an article. It kind of gives the kids a structure because at this, at this age level, they need some structure like that. It, I don't think it would necessarily be a big deal if they were older, middle school or high school, but I think the, the little kids, uh, littler kids, third, fourth graders, respond to that a little better. It's nice they have everything ready in front of them and they know exactly what they have to do. Can you tell us something you are thankful for? Thankful? Yeah. First number one is probably my family. <laughs> You know, I try to put myself in the position of other teachers across other parts of the state. They don't have that immediate access. And I would encourage those teachers to reach out. Just because you're miles apart doesn't mean you can't communicate with all the 11 recognized tribes in Wisconsin. Write a letter to the council, write a letter to the president and ask for information and, and they will send it back to you. I've done that and the kids have done that, written the different tribes in Wisconsin and always get a great response back. We've had several members of all, I don't think we've had all 11, but come in and speak to our class. And then when they get those resources, they put together and they'll make a book and do a presentation on it. We've done biographical projects on Native people where students um, write a speech in the first person. It's called our Wax Museum. <laughs> it's an annual event and they, um, stand as a statue in front of a big backdrop and when you walk up to them they will come to life and give a little speech that they wrote in the first person and then step back and it is a community event when we do that so we invite all members of the community you know performing for your family and friends and it's so nice to see how proud the kids are and how proud their families are of what have you learned you know we have all different levels of learners there so besides the native and non-native component you see that have an impact on kids who have special needs or gifted and talented students. Well, some of the non-Native kids have asked to portray Native people that we've studied and in reading. I've noticed more non-Native kids choosing to read books from the Native library that I have here, asking to take it home, share it with their families. And you know, from a personal standpoint, that's where you can really make an impact, connecting the school and the family and the home. For teachers that aren't as aware or don't feel like they, they have the resources or the knowledge, um, I don't want to push, but I think the best thing I can do is give them the resources and take it from there and touch base with them and send a little reminder note out every now and then or an email, here's Act 31, what it is, here's some resources, if you have any questions, here's where you can go. Anushik. I think that's something that should be introduced and taught every year, pre-K all the way up to senior. I'm seeing some things even in this school that are positive. I see some things changing. For example, um, I see more kids of different cultures sitting together at lunch and playing at recess and, and kind of working things out. And I want to see that continue. And I also am and keeping an eye open for other staff or new staff that can carry on after I leave. I, I would hate to see this, you know, kind of die with me.